Good evening. It is Wednesday, March the 7th, about 10 o'clock p.m. This is Shea Gibson with iKiteSurf from Wind Alert, bringing you a wind forecast for the Tampa Bay area. It looks like there's a green light on the Elite Big Air Classic 2018 coming up this Sunday at 10 o'clock a.m. Uh, Aaron and Vanessa have done a bang-up job on the website promoting this event. It looks like it's here. It's ready to go for March uh, the 11th at 10 o'clock a.m. Sunday morning starting. The divisions are there. The registration is there. Uh, the wind forecast, the widgets. Thank you very much for posting those, by the way. We appreciate that. Uh, we hope that the winds hold up. So we're looking for a strong southerly wind to enter the area. The question is going to be how strong will they be? Um, go ahead and take a look at the website and register. Check it out and see what all they have going on. And we'll go ahead and dive right into the forecast. So what we're looking for here in time as we go forward is we have high pressure lining up across the central United States. One lobe of it's going to be breaking off down here over Texas. This one is going to be moving across the area over the next few days and out over the Bahamas or just north of the Bahamas. So we're going to call this a Bahamian high pressure. And then behind that is going to be a very low dipping trough, which is going to turn into a mid-level low or an upper level low. And that's going to increase the southerly winds between the two systems. And so you'll see this in time as we see that high break off and really just head over the area. You'll have a dome of delight over your area by Saturday. The winds will be rather weak, but as it moves off into the Atlantic to the east, we'll see the, the winds are starting to draw up from the south here. I'm going to go ahead and, and enable the um, epic pin that I have and see if I can't get some drawing done on here. Now, uh, the, the big player right here is this low. So we have this mid-level low that's going to be developing off of a trough heading down into the southeast United States. This is going to draw a cold front to the west of Tampa Bay across the Gulf of Mexico. And then you're going to get this southerly convergence of this high pressure over here and then the low pressure over here. Uh, that's going to create this southerly wind field. Now, the lower that this low dips, the stronger the convergent winds will be from the south. And so that's what we're kind of hoping for here. Uh, it gets a little bit on the technical side, but we'll, we'll start to look at the GFS models for this and we'll see uh, the evolution of this event. There goes the high pressure sort of wobbling across Florida, wobbling across the Gulf of Mexico. And then there it is parking... Uh, just north of the Bahamas for right there when it gets into Saturday and into Sunday. Now, this high pressure will be uh, a rather weak one. It's not expected to be anything strong, but you see all this energy starting to come out together over here to the west. And as we go into time, we see that low develop. Now, things may get a little bit messy. You may have some rains, some showers moving over the area. We call this low-level jetting when you have moisture uh, involved across some of the, the southern gulf or the southwestern gulf from the Bay of Campeche sort of pulling up this warm moisture across the area and you may have some messy conditions but the low level jetting may be strong enough for the surface winds to be of great value for the contest so we even start to look at the lower dynamics the 10 meter wind and we see that the gradient here now we'll, we'll back up just a little bit there's the high pressure just north of the Bahamas and you can tell by this clockwise rotation that it makes here you can see the wind barbs lining up in this direction um, and then as the low kind of comes across and forms and along the southeast United States over Alabama and um, Tennessee Valley, we'll see that that southerly wind really starts to ramp up. And these greens and these yellows represent the pressure gradient steepening where you get a pinched gradient along this area and then the winds really come up. So for right now, it's showing 20 knots on the barbs along the coastline here in Tampa. And that would probably increase. And, and, and we also have to factor in some of the thermal fact, some of the thermal uh, zones of Florida. If it's cloudy, it's just going to be a low-level jet day, whereas if you have a little bit of sun popping through here and there, you get these thermal pockets in some of these areas over like by where 5 cent is uh, or 10 cent. Uh, some of these areas that are just downwind of land masses, these, these areas really zip up in the wind speed. So um, DeSoto may not be as strong as where 10 cent is in those areas. You guys know where they are. You know where the thermal zones are. But the bottom line is that the gradient will be increasing as we get into Sunday and Sunday afternoon. You can see here the winds even switch from south to southwest according to the GFS model. Uh, so here we go. A little bit closer in. I'll go to the lower dynamics. Right now I can't get into the higher resolution models because they're just the, the timing is too far out. We are talking about five days out here, so a lot can happen between now and then. But we are seeing that there is consistency with models about this high pressure sort of scooting out over the north of Bahamas and then sort of expanding out and then that low pressure uh, creating this this uh, southerly draw. So that's going to be a huge factor. We go to the models and look. Right now we have a pretty decent west-northwest flow going on 20 miles an hour gusting to 28 at Skyway Bridge right now. Uh, and then we go out in the models. I'm going to go ahead and enable select all for this. And we're going to go out into time. 
and we're going to take a look at Sunday. And now mainly this is uh, medium and, and low resolution models that are, are putting in the guidance for here. But you can see a lot of there's a lot of agreement. Even the CMC Canadian model, which is in yellow, has the winds coming up to at least about 15 to 17 knots inside where the Skyway Bridge area is. And then the other models are bringing up to 20 plus. Uh, and the gradient could actually steepen more than that. So the low-level jetting may bring it up to even 25 knots, gusting to 30. Maybe one of those days where the, the signs come on Skyway Bridge about uh, wind cautions uh, and things like that. But once the front goes through, you're going to have another powerful day on Monday, even stronger day as high pressure filters in behind the cold front. And you get a, another steepening gradient from a different wind direction. That's west, northwest, and northwest. But... It looks like for Sunday, things are lining up pretty good. And we also need to consider the sea surface temperatures for this area right now, which are a little bit higher, which is good. That means the thermal, mix thermal mixing will be greater over the water. You won't get this decoupling or marine layer issues. You'll actually have a better flow. Uh, so we look at sea surface temperatures right around 74 to 77 degrees in that area. In some pockets, maybe a little bit cooler. You may be down in the low 70s for some of these areas. Uh, but we can also take a look at the air temperature uh, guidance and see if that's close to the sea surface temperatures for Sunday which is going to be right around 70 degrees and we get into Sunday afternoon maybe in the mid 70s so the closer the air temperature and the sea surface temperatures are together the better the mix you're going to get over the top of it the the more instability you can get because the waters are a little bit warmer and that's a good thing so it looks like there's a lot of agreement so far from the medium and low and low resolution models but as we go into time when we get into like Thursday or maybe Friday um, we'll get those higher resolution models in to see if there's any agreement there and we'll go from that and I'll probably do another update on Friday but for right now just plan on there being some wind it looks like everything's set to be at least about 18 to 22 knots Maybe more. I know we need more than that. We need about 20 to 24 knots, the very minimum for average for this big air contest. So we'll be watching that very closely. But for now, that's what, that's what I'm going to call is for a lot of these areas to see at least 20, 18 to 22 knots. We could have some higher um, agreement from the modeling and from guidance as we go on in time. But for right now, I'm going to go a little bit on the conservative side and call it there with gusts up to about 25 to 30 knots at times. And then as we get to Friday, we'll take another look at this and see what's going on. But until then, you guys take care. Keep uh, keep your fingers crossed for the wind to hold, for the, for the entire modeling solutions to hold. And uh, we'll see you Friday night on the update. Thanks again for watching. Y'all take care.